my name is Suba and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over multiplication, subtraction, and addition for fourth grade math. Now when we're working with fourth grade math, they already have the addition and subtraction basics down. What we want to focus on is subtracting and adding larger numbers and looking at the place values. So say we had the number 432. What we really want to focus on enforcing is that this is the hundreds, this is the tens, and this is the ones. So say we were subtracting 29. We can't take 2 out of 9 from 2 because 2 is too small. So if we think of it this way, almost as money. So if say 4 is equal, 432 is equal to 4 one hundreds, 3 tens, and 2 ones. Now if we borrow one of these tens from the 3, let's say we do that. We come over here, we ask him because we don't have enough. Take that down to 2 tens, and now we have 10 ones, so that's going to change into a 12. Carry that over, so let's do this. 2, 12. So 12 minus 9 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. That's how we have our answer. We're going to want to do a similar thing with our addition, where we're just focusing on enforcing the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. For multiplication, they should already also have the basics kind of down. So, for instance, like 2 times 1 is equal to 2 because that's one group of 2. 2 times 2, well, that's going to give us two groups of 2, which is going to be 4. 2 times 3, similarly, is going to give us 6. And what we really want to focus on is memorizing those multiplication tables. So 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, without having to add them up individually. My name is Subra Gerwal, and that's 4th grade multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Thank you for taking an interest in math.